Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add video commentary or add or record from your camera on your PlayStation 5 uh, with Share Factory. So I'm editing a video and I want to add this. It's uh, very easy to do. Just line it up on the timeline where you add, uh, want to add your camera. So maybe at like uh, 18 seconds here, I want to add some video commentary. So I'm going to press X now and then I can go to Add Track 2. And then under here, I can press X again. So you can see my camera's plugged in and it's working. I might want to add like more saturation to it. It looks like the colors are off just a little bit. But we can press triangle now. And if we have any kind of like chroma key attached, well, we can add a, a black screen or I mean like a green screen or blue screen or any kind of like solid screen, really. So we can press X. We have normal cutout, green screen, white screen. So just add what you want. So I can go back to normal. I won't have any of that cutout stuff. But if you want to add a green screen or a white screen or cutout, you can right there. And that should cut out the background. Uh, here's camera tuning. So if we want to add more saturation, uh, we can just press uh, the square button. And let's go down to saturation. And just make sure you press X to confirm. So let's see. Is that good? So let's go to about 0.75. Then hue should be good hue. I don't know what hue is going to do. It looks way too much green. And that might be okay around 0.5. Then we got contrast. You could always lower the contrast for a little bit more color to, well, you get a lot more darks in there. And then here's sharpen. Sharpen really doesn't do much. Maybe a little bit. 0.3, whatever. That looks good. Looks like it's a lot more natural in terms of what the blue is on my chair behind me and what's on the screen. So now we got that set up. Uh, we can also do pan and zoom. So since my camera <laughs> is not on my head. Well, hey guys, how's it going? There's my face. 300%. So you can zoom it and crop it wherever you want. So I'm going to bring this out a little bit. Instead of actually grabbing my camera and moving it down, I can just pan and zoom right to my face. All right, so this looks good. I wish we could do this when we live stream. I don't know why we have all these different features in the share factor, but not for live streaming. All right, so let's press O now and back out. You know, this looks actually pretty good when you got a crop in the room pretty well. All right, so 18 seconds now. Let's press X, then go to record video, then start recording. All right, hey everyone, this is Tim recording a video for Share Factory on my PlayStation 5. Don't I look good? I just shaved my head the other day. Give me a thumbs up. Great, okay, there we go. So it's saving the commentary to my video clip. And when we back out, we can back out one more time, and this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, by default, it's gonna be in the upper right side of the screen. Now, if we press the L3 button, we can go through the different timelines. Um, so this will be our video clip timeline. If we press L3 again, this is going to be our track two is going to be included on there. If we press it again, there will be music. If we have any kind of music. So I can see my video clip on here and it's in the upper right. So we can change that position rather easily. So we can play this now. I'm going to unmute my capture card and then you should be able to hear the audio on the PS5. All right. Hey, everyone. This is Tim recording a video for Share Factory. It might be, it sounds like the video is a little bit off of where my mouth is. I don't know if that's just on there or what. But let's go over the video clip now and press square. And then we can edit it. We can go to track two, edit track two. And then we can see track two, press edit again. And then we can go to PIP layout. And we can choose where we want. So we can do top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left, center, full screen or side by side, offset or swivel. So if you literally just want it full screen, we can go to full screen and back out. And it'll take up the entire screen. So it'll just be me talking, blah, blah, blah. Even though I have regular video clips on the main timeline. So let's press square back on this and go to edit track two. Then just press square again. Go to PIP layout. And let's do offset. I mean, uh, side by side. And then uh, what we could do is edit this again. And then we got PIP settings, colorblind mode. Okay. So we can put this over the clip, uh, color dodge, 
uh, <laughs> difference. So we got all these different things to change the pretty much the filter, the appearance of this hard light. I don't know. Let's just do something like that. Display shadow. So we can turn this on. Display frame. Then you can change the uh, the frame color. So let's do a yellow. Confirm that. Back out. And let's just see what that did. Back out to the main timeline. Set up. So. And this is what it will look like. Okay. So you can change the background too if you don't want that specific background. But let's go back to it. Go to track two. So I really didn't like that at all. So I'm probably just going to get rid of all that. All right. And go back to the normal one. If we got any. So here's none. And then we can add a filter to this too. We got all these different filter options. Uh, we could add saturation. We can go to colorize. This will just change the appearance of the video clip. So just like the normal uh, filter options you got for your video clips. And do we have anything else under here? We have uh, layout. We can change the layout. So you probably saw this before. Uh, just messing around with Share Factory. So yeah, the most important thing will probably be the PIP uh, layout. And then uh, if you want to change the background, you can. We can replace the background. And can we use a video clip or are these just screenshots? So they give you video clips on the top to kind of use. But actually, we got the we can't use our own video clips, which kind of sucks, but we can use our own screenshots. So here's a picture of the controller from Astro's Playroom. Now when I back out, you can see where uh, the background is. So you can see the controller is the background on there. And then there's my video clip on the left and then my uh, gameplay on the right. So you can just mess around with this, and decide you how you want the layout. So I think my favorite layout actually was always the, the swivel one. So right here, this one, I kind of like this one. So let's back out. So you got the gameplay in the background. And then you got a little bit more um, of your video commentary in the top right. You can see the box is a lot bigger. And I do like that there. Now, if you're going to be like trying to show off if you have uh, like some sort of score or something or like your points in the game. So most of the time when you're playing, you don't want anything on the bottom right or I mean on the bottom left because that's going to take up everyone's names. So the top right seems to be the best option side by side. Then we got offset. We go to this one. All right, so this is what that one looks like. But hopefully this video did indeed help you all or give you some ideas. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.